A few days back, Vikas Gupta blasted Shri Shant, Karanveer Bora, and Deepika Kakkar for mocking wildcard entrant Rohit Suchanti's sexuality. He took to social media to share a long post condemning their insensitivity towards the LGBT community. Later, Karanveer's wife TJ Sindhu also took to Twitter to slam the housemates, including her husband, for doing so. TJ had written in one of the tweets, I know it was not intentional on KV's part. He is a very sincere, decent human being. He didn't mean to be hurtful and if this topic is raised by Salman, I know KV would have the grace to apologize. I'm still his number one fan, but we have to help the people we love become better people. However, yesterday's episode of Weekend Kavar revealed that Karanveer never made fun of Rohit in any way. It was a clear case of faulty editing which made it look like KV was mocking Rohit's sexuality. In fact, he was referring to Srishti Rore's engagement ring while making the finger gesture. TJ Sidhu took to Twitter to post a clip from yesterday's episode and bring out the truth to everyone. On seeing yesterday's episode, Vikas Gupta too apologized to KV for slamming him. He took to Twitter and wrote, Here I would like to apologize to at KV Bora. The episode that was shown made me and other also believe that KV did participate in the incident, but that was not the case. Thank you at Bombay Sunshine for standing up for the right always. Lots of love and respect. TJ Sidhu even released a statement clarifying the confusion. It read, I think out of everyone, I am the most relieved after seeing yesterday's episode of Big Boss. Salman Khan brought up the incident of the wildcard entry night when housemates were making fun of new entrant Rohit's sexuality, where KV was also shown as making inappropriate gestures. It was a shock to me since I know KV so well and this is so out of character for him. When Section 377 came in the news last month, he had even posted on social media. He was glad India was moving forward and becoming more accepting. I shared my disappointment on Twitter since, as his wife, it's my job to help correct his thinking if it feels it's wrong. Also, when you are on social media, you have a responsibility to stand up for what's right, even if it means speaking up against your loved ones. It made me sad that KV had become a part of the group mentality. However, I still believed if he has shown his mistake, he would own up to it and apologize. It turned out that the episode was edited in such a way that the incident was not shown correctly on TV. I am thrilled KV has proven me wrong and that his name is cleared of this mess. He has proven he really is a good human being that we see on TV and in real life.